Collectible coin buyers should be aware that there is fake silver in the marketplace. Many of the fake silver coins are base metals coated with real silver. We'll demonstrate some ways to be confident we're buying real silver without damaging the coin. The best tools for this purpose are strong magnets. Neodymium magnets come in many shapes and sizes. Here are some that are well suited to testing coins for silver. We sell these at qualitycollectiblecoins.com. They're about the size of a nickel. If you have more than one of these magnets, you should be careful to keep them apart. If they're near each other, they will collide violently. If you want to stack them up, you should use spacers between the magnets and be cautious. Magnets naturally attract some metals like iron, nickel, and steel. Magnets do not attract silver, gold, or copper. This forms the basis for test one, namely, does the magnet stick? The magnet does not stick to the silver eagle, so it could be silver, but it could also be copper with a silver plating. We'll have to do some further testing. The magnet does stick to the British trade dollar, which is exposed as a fake. We know that magnets are not attracted to silver or copper, but there is a weak attraction formed when a magnet is in motion near a silver or copper coin. When the magnet is moved relative to the silver or copper, a temporary electrical field is created. The magnet is then attracted to this temporary electrical field. We can take advantage of this phenomenon by sliding a magnet against a coin. If the weak attraction is there, it will slow down the sliding motion, so we know the coin must be silver or copper or gold. We have two supposedly silver coins to test. The first coin is an American Silver Eagle. The coin slides slowly, so the weak attraction is there. This coin is silver, gold, or copper. It's safe to assume it's not silver-plated gold. <laughs> but it could be silver-plated copper. The second coin is a US trade dollar. This coin slides normally, so the weak attraction is not present. The coin is not silver. Here's a shortcut you can use to see if the weak attraction exists. You'll need a small stack of magnets or one larger magnet. Put either one on the coin and pull it away quickly. If the coin follows the magnet for a moment, the attraction is there, but it could still be silver-plated copper. If the coin does not follow the magnet, it is not silver. To be sure it's not silver-plated copper, check the weight, diameter, and thickness. The correct values can be found in the official red book. If the values match the red book specifications, it's silver. A fish test will check these measurements for you quickly. For example, to test a silver eagle. First, check to see if the magnet sticks to the coin. If it sticks, it's not silver. Next, set up a silver slide test or use the shortcut technique. If there's no weak attraction, the coin is not silver. If the coin passes both tests, it could be silver or copper plated with silver. To be sure, take measurements. A genuine silver eagle weighs at least 31.1 grams, 40.6 millimeters in diameter, and 2.98 millimeters thick. The bottom line is, silver is much heavier than copper, so if they use copper to make a fake, the coin won't be heavy enough to pass the test. This video has shown some ways to test silver with the focus on using strong magnets. In practice, testing with a magnet, weighing, and measuring are usually sufficient. To determine how much the coin should weigh, refer to the official red book. Here are some conclusions or lessons learned. The best tool to bring along to buy silver is a strong magnet. You can reject iron-based metals immediately. Copper is a lot like silver, so if the coin or bar passes the slide test, measure and or weigh it to be sure. The best and easiest approach is to buy from a reputable dealer. Consider choosing from the list of companies the U.S. Mint uses to distribute their American Silver Eagles. Those companies can't afford to damage your reputations.